जय हिंद एंड गुड इवनिंग टुडे ऑन थर्टीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर लेट एस ऑल रिमेंबर आवर रेवोल्यूशनरी वॉज डिस्क्राइब्ड एज द भिची बाई सुभाष चंद्र बोस लेट एस रिमेंबर जोगिंद्रनाथ दास हु लेट डाउन हिज लाइफ एट द यंग एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव एट लाहौल चेल आफ्टर हिज कंटिन्यूस हंडर स्ट्राइक ऑफ सिक्सटी थ्री डेज एगेंस्ट द इन ह्यूमन बिहेवियर ऑफ द ब्रिटिश अथॉरिटी against the political prisoners who were at that time staying at Lahore jail the das family who was originally from the manikganj haka were staying at calcutta at that time when jotin das was born on 24th of october 1904 he completed his matric and intermediate in first division and then he joined the bangobash college as a graduate student and at the age of 17 Jotin Das was uh, actively involved in the non-cooperation movement and at the age of 21 during his graduation days he was arrested by the British police due to his active political involvement and he was put in the jail of Maiman Singh at that time even during that uh, staying in jail Jotin Das started hunger strike in protest of uh, protest of the treatment the political prisoners were getting and finally when the jail superintendent apologized to him and uh, accepted all the demands demands from the political prisoners and provided all the facilities to the political prisoners he withdrawn his uh, hunger strike after 22 days and before we discuss his joining in the group of hrs hindustan uh, republic socialist army let us go back uh, in the history for uh, some years we know that on 1915 there was a plan of pan india uh, pan india british cantonment revolution led by rajbihari bose and which was ended after the treachery of a person named kripal singh in the february of 1915 and uh, one of the prominent convicted of this first lahore conspiracy case was sri shochindranath shanna who joined the revolutionary activities from very young age and who became a prominent leader and a prominent face of the uh, armed revolution at that time and after got arrested under the lahore conspiracy case first lahore conspiracy case in 1915 shochindranath shanal got a sentence in uh, andaman cellular jail for for many years and after completing his term in andaman he came back to india and he joined the revolutionary activities as soon as he came to calcutta as sorry as soon as he came to india and uh, shochindranath shanal who was from a family who was uh, residing in banaras at that time the family moved to allahabad and uh, finally shochindranath shanal left his family back and came to calcutta to gather the young boy for the armed revolution once again once again here we should uh, mention that after uh, the failure of 1915 um, revolutionary planning and after the death of jotindranath mukhopadhyay uh, bagha jyoti in the battle of balasore on 1915 several armed revolutionaries got arrested and several got sentenced to cellular jail several were sent to life imprisonment and several was barred to enter calcutta and the major cities for their activities so there was a slow pace we can say uh, the pace was a uh, pace were really slowed down for the armed revolution at that time and when shochindranath shanal came back from uh, the andaman cellular jail after his uh, tenure there he started to gather the young people in bengal uh, for starting the armed revolution the new chapter in the armed revolution at that time and in 1924 when shochin shanal is is in calcutta one day he was walking with some known person and discussing the same issue of getting young people to join the armed revolution he he was attracted towards a young boy of well built young boy of dark complexion who was working in some activities in national congress in one of the road in south calcutta and uh, while asking uh, the person who was with him 
he said that this boy's name is jotin jotindranath dash and he is an active member of the active uh, congress activities and uh, requesting that person jotindranath channel uh, finally had a meeting with jotindranath dash and that's how jotindranath dash got connected with the hrsa and on october 30 1928 lala rajpat rai been severely beaten by the british police during a peaceful protest and on 17 november he died to avenge his death bhagat singh and rajguru of hrsa killed a british officer saunders on 17th of december 1928 and after the saunders killing bhagat singh in disguise came to calcutta and met jotindash here and then he requested jotindash to join them in north india as jotindash was an expert person to make the bombs for the revolutionaries and finally jotindash joined the group in kanpur and he made the bombs that was used by bhagat singh and bhutikeshwar dabbo on april 8 1929 uh, which bombs they actually threw on the central legislative assembly in uh, delhi and uh, they distributed few leaflets inside the central legislative hall also claiming that it took a loud voice to make the deaf hear the government responded by arresting a large number of young men from different parts of the country and second law of conspiracy case started against them during the trial the prisoners were treated in a pathetic inhuman way in the jail and after repeated repeated demand of the status of political prisoners the hrsa members decided for an hunger strike and started their uh, and acted according to their plan jotindash did not join in the initial days and several of his co uh, prisoners commented that the several of his co uh, prisoners commented that the bengalis are not enough brave to perform the hunger strike jotindash finally started his hunger strike and this hunger strike of the young revolutionaries sparked havoc outrage among the citizens of the nation Srimati Durga Bhabi wife of one of the prisoners Bhagavati Charan Bora laid many such protest against the british in support of the revolutionaries revolutionaries and several indian members of the central legislative assembly including Muhammad Ali Jinnah Motilal Nehru and MR Jaikar strongly opposed the government attempts to suppress the voice of the political prisoners and in one of his lecture Muhammad Ali Jinnah said the man who goes on hunger strike has a soul he is moved by the soul and he believes in the justice of his cause he is not an ordinary criminal who is guilty of cold blooded crime government did not listen to any of the appeal while most of the hunger strikers gave up their fast after days or weeks the 25 year old jotindash continued continued until on the 63rd day life finally ebbed away from him the family of trasen maxwini the mayor of cork who had died in brixton prison under similar circumstances in 1920 sent a telegram saying they had learned with grief and pride of the death of jotindash and that the freedom will come here let us mention one thing that in this small video we no, we are not discussing the activities of hrsa or how the hrsa were built at that time and how uh, they performed their uh, activities for the freedom of war of freedom so let us today concentrate our uh, discussion on jotindranath dash and for that uh, i would like to discuss uh, some aftermath of his death first and foremost when jotindranath dash died in uh, lahore jail after his death on 13th of september 1929 the body was handed to his uh, to the next to kin of uh, of jotindash his brother kiran dash was there and the and uh, many members of bengal congress were present there under the leadership of subhash chandra bosh subhash chandra bosh went to lahore and uh, did everything possible uh, to bring back the dead body of the revolutionaries to his hometown calcutta and there huge crowds came to pay their last respects at railway stations as his body was taken from lahore to calcutta jotin dash had served in the congress volunteer corps in 1928 under subhash chandra bose 
who now took charge of the funeral rites. And in October 29, Shubhash made the journey from Calcutta to Lahore and delivered his message of complete emancipation to the Punjabi Students' Conference. He lauded the sacrifice of Jyotin Dash in the cause of freedom. Jyotin today is not dead, he insisted. He lives up in the heavens as a star of purest ray to serve as a beacon of beacon light to prosperity. And here I would like to discuss that historian Cam McLean wrote in his book, A Revolutionary of Interval India, that Das's death created a major impact on nationalist politics as indicated on the first page of the Tribune. After this, the British stopped handing over bodies of revolutionaries to their kin. A book titled Profile of Martyrs, Jotindas, uh, Profile of Martyr about Jotindash states that the photo of the dead body of Jotindash was clicked off the, the Lahore jail on the evening of 13th of September 1929. After the photo of the dead, dead hero was taken, Jyotin's body was buried under a pile of flowers which were wet with scented waters. Reclining on the big pillow was his head, a mere skull, the bloodless face with the sucken cheeks and eyeballs deep down in the sockets bore traces of the death agony. It was easy to see that he had perished inch by inch. Shiv Varma, one of the compatriots and crow prisoners described Jyotin Dash as a serious-looking, sound and soft-spoken person. So, as described by Shubhash Chandra Bosch, and he described it very rightly, that Jyotin Dash played the role of Dadhichi in the freedom movement. As we all know, the mythological story that while fighting against the demons, the gods were needed a particular weapon which should have been made by the bones of some very pure soul. And Dodhichi came up and sacrificed himself. And with the ashes and bones of Dodhichi, Indra made her Bajro to kill the demon. So, as described by Shubhash Chandra Bose very rightly, Jyotindash sacrificed his life after this prolonged hunger strike of 63 days. And he actually impacted the coming freedom movement largely. Even when Shubhash Chandra Bose started his hunger strike in 1940, <coughs> he mentioned about Jyotin Dash in his letter to the British authority. And Rabindranath Tagore also wrote a song, He Bhoirab Shukti Dao Bhakto Pane Jaho, on Jyotin Dash after he came to know about this sacrifice. And here I should like to mention that uh, we have taken many informations from the autobiography of Shotindranath Shannal Bondijivan and uh, His Majesty's opponent, the book written by Professor Shugato Bosch, which is on the life of Shubhash Chandra Bosch and contemporary freedom movement. Jai Hind. All meanness is devoured by the fire of your anger. O oh God, give us strength, have mercy on your devotees. Sweep away, Almighty, what is false and petty. May death be dwarfed by the ecstasy of life. By churning the depths of suffering, one will find immortality. Those who fear death will be freed of their terror. Your resplendent scorching power will melt and let flow. Freed of the chain of stones, a stream of sacrifice. <laughs> 